Now, the remote control battering is actually really cool, and that's going to fill out, um, I think, yeah, the final of our slots. Um, so if we want, we can throw this. It can be controlled in flight and used to hit multiple enemies. So you got this, and you can sort of use the control stick to make it, you know, move around, which is really cool. Um, I don't. It lasts a pretty long time, as far as I know. You can have quite a bit of control. Um, this can also be useful, as you can see, to sort of scout out the area a little bit. You know, just to sort of see what's up. Yeah, and then eventually you'll lose control of it and it'll go away. Um, but it, you can imagine just how useful that is. You can use it to, like, round corners and take out, um, like, lines of thugs and stuff. It's actually really cool. Batman, every route into intensive treatment is locked, and there's nothing I can do to bypass the security. There was a sniper up on the roof. He got there somehow. I'll find a way. All right, so, yeah, we've got a sniper up here, which is a little bit of a pain. Um... I want to kind of wait to get close to that thing. I'll wait for him to sort of turn the other way. Well, really? This guy's running at me from that far away? That's pretty impressive. It's alright. One less thing to take care of, though. Alright, I'm going to see if I can... Well, it looks actually like he's scanning back this way, so... Okay, he's walking. Good. Yeah, but like I said before, anytime there's a sniper in the area, it's a good idea to keep your uh, detective mode on, so that way you can tell if he's targeting you. And if we stay underneath here, we should be fine. See, I just want to check where... Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, now the annoying thing about this is the platform that he's up on has those little spikes kind of around the sides, um, which means you're not going to be able to directly grapple up to it. So what we're going to have to do is actually, um, at least what I usually do, I don't really know if there's another way to do it or not, um, is get up into one of these towers and use the line launcher to get across. Now obviously the problem with that is we're going to have to run out pretty much right in front of this guy. So, I don't know, I guess we'll just have to wait for him to take a walk. Um, what we could actually also do is maybe use the remote control battery to get up there and hit him. Uh, which actually, that might not be a bad idea, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that out. We can sort of... stop. Oh. <laughs> Oops, that wasn't quite where I wanted it to go. Um, it takes a little while to recharge too, as you can see. Um, so what I was going to try to do is just do like a little loop-de-loop -loop and go back up to get him. So, alright, come on. There we go. So we're a little upside down here. But, whoa, okay, that's not quite where I wanted to go. <laughs> okay, the controls don't work too well upside down. So let's stop fooling around this time and just make a circle. I thought maybe it would try to even itself out or something, but I guess it didn't. Curve around. It's right up here. Ooh, there we go. Now end it. And let's make our way up here quickly. There we go. Come on. Line launcher across. See, that, that one can just be a little bit tough. I probably could have sat there and waited. Um, like, took, you know, some cover behind that thing and just waited for him to move again. But, alright, so at least we got up here. That's really all that matters. We get a little bit of health recovery from this as well, so no big deal. Alright, so up and in we go. Through the maintenance access. Yeah, get used to that. I'm seeing seismic activity all over Arkham Island. You okay? Ivy's plants are taking hold. I've got to stop them before the entire island is under her control. Alright, so let's try to make our way through here. This place can also be a, it's a little bit cramped, so... Alright, trophy back there. I think we can just walk right in and get it, yeah. And I guess they expected you to take the obvious grate first and not walk behind here. 
I'll unlock a challenge for us. Alright, what's in here? Oh, you see that kind of, like, cut on the right side of his face there? Yep. I'm telling you, Batman gets beat up throughout this game. <laughs> okay, um, I guess up we'll go. And that's probably the way through. I want to see if there's kind of anything around back here, though. And I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is the way forward. More cobweb vents here. I think they clean these things out every once in a while. Alright. Doesn't look like much here, so let's head on through. Oh, no, if I remember correctly, we're actually coming up... Oh, we are. We're coming up on a very annoying section here. Yep. Oh, I remember this so clearly. Are they ready? Have you planted the explosives yet? Good. Razor's just finishing his off now. Good. Let's test him out. No! No, I'm still up! Alright, so what we've got here... Puzzle has many sides, only some are visible. That's another question mark thing, I think. But what we have here are basically booby-trapped gargoyles. Um, and we'll actually get a peek at that if we kind of look... Okay, well, maybe not. Crap. What was that? Alright, see, uh... Yeah, that, I didn't quite mean to fall off there, but we should be able to get away here. Well, what is that? You see that? <laughs> I'm like dragging... Okay, I was like dragging a piece of stone with me. Alright, um, I think we may have gotten away. That was a little bit sloppy. Um, but uh, basically, as I was explaining, what we have here are booby-trapped gargoyles. If you grapple to them, they will explode. And uh, you'll have a little bit of time to get away, but it'll alert them to your position as well. So, um, we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, and there are a bunch of people. Seven in total, including the one I took out. So, this is going to be a little bit of a pain. Uh, thankfully, this is a rather large area, and there should be quite a lot of space to um, get around. So, yeah, but see, the problem is they're all kind of together right now. This guy's here by himself. So, let's see if we can... Okay, well, he's not really anymore. Nope. Hold up, hold up, I'm coming with you. No, no, don't climb up, dude. Crap. <laughs> Alright, well, this is going terribly. Uh, I didn't mean to climb up. I was just trying to grab onto the ledge there, but... Alright. So, yeah, th that's why I said I remember this very clearly. Um, I'm thinking about actually just letting them shoot me and then going back up and doing this the way that I usually do. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do that, because th <laughs> this is going to be a big pain. So... Oh, come on. Grapple up. See, let's just let this guy kill us real quick. <laughs> just kind of walked up to him while he was shooting me. Oh, isn't that cute? The little bats are sleeping. Someone finish him off. Yeah, it's like, if only I didn't just drop down there from the start, because getting, trying to go from the bottom up when there are a bunch of people looking around is so much harder than trying to go from the top down. So, let's just go ahead and restart. We only took out one guy, so it's not like we really lost any progress or anything. Let's skip the scene. Why are we beefing up security here, Joker wants this building kept free of the back. And, of course, we're going to be using our gadgets to uh, full effect here. 
So what I like to do is take this guy out first. He'll come down here and then eventually turn around and start walking back and we'll be able to take him out. Then when what I like to do then is plant the um, explosive gel at his body. So that way it'll um, you know take out the few people that come and check him out. So let's go ahead and get this one. Batman's probably not even coming that way. He's got bigger plans to fry. Oh crap, I didn't put the Alright, thankfully I got away with it. I, f I forgot to put the thing back out. I thought that guy was coming over to check. Alright, so this should knock down three of them. It probably, I don't think it'll take them out, per se. Um, let's get back a little bit just to make sure they can't see me there. We can still detonate it, so it's no big deal. But basically, once we uh, knock them down, we can just rush in and do ground takedowns, and that'll take out... Um, I might be able to get all three of them, I'm not sure. That, that, and that one. I'll get back. And there we go. Phew, we actually managed to get away. That took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Uh, but you can see now we're actually down to four. And I didn't have time to put more explosive gel, otherwise I could have just repeated that. But I would have been um, seen. It's amazing I got away, really. Um, another thing I could do... Actually, we can't really throw it from here, can we? Alright, well... I just hope the two don't pair up. Um, if they do, we're gonna, probably going to have to remote control Batarang. Hence the treatment belongs to us. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Okay, so let's see. That guy, I think they're both down. Alright, those two have paired. These two have not. Although they are kind of walking in the same direction. So we're going to just ignore those two. Thankfully, they're at the bottom, so they won't be causing us too much trouble. Alright, so I hope he keeps going that direction and doesn't turn back. Okay, he is. So now we should be able... Let's just make sure. I don't like the way he's turning. Alright, yeah, he's going down. Um, so now we can take this guy out. Like that. Put more gel down. You may want to go west and shadow the walkway. Let's make sure we get a safe distance back. Because I'm thinking these guys... Okay, they're going to turn that way, which is fine. Alright, so let's take that guy out. That guy actually fell down. So now this one's by himself. Take him down. <laughs> Perfect. All right, yeah, that one can be a real pain. I personally think that's one of the harder stealth sections in the game, to be honest. Just because you can't use the gargoyles, you really take them for granted, you know, and then they're taken away from you. All right, so that takes care of everyone. Let's, uh, I think there's actually maybe a tape or something we can grab um, up in this top area here. So let's head on up and uh, find the entrance. Here we go. Uh, oh, I found it. Surprised you want to intern here at Arkham. I've always had a thing for extreme personalities. You can't deny there's an element of glamour to these super criminals. I warn you right now, these are hardcore psychotics. Most would rather kill you than speak to you. I'm sure I'll be fine, Doctor. They'll eat you for breakfast. I mean it. One or two of them will enjoy it too. Be careful. So yeah, there's an uh, interview tape for Harley. I actually uh, forgot that we were going to be getting uh, tapes for her, so there you go. Alright, um, I actually wasn't expecting to find it there. There's also this. I'm not entirely sure what this goes to right now, but 
I guess we can check. Um, I'm thinking there's a trophy down here somewhere. If we go, okay, maybe not that way. And not that way either. Okay, so I guess I'm just imagining things. I'm not sure if this, this might actually go to the gates. We might actually have to do this to get out. So um, either way, I mean, it's here. So let's go ahead and take care of it. Okay, there's that one. That one. And there we go. Ah, yeah, it looks like that deactivated the gates for us to get through. Alright, so that's probably pretty much it around here. Um, if you remember, we have actually been here before. Um, this may look a little bit familiar, um, because if we... No, not the gargoyle, stupid. Jump down. Or, or don't. <laughs> Alright, well, that was dumb. But yeah, you can see if we go up here and look... Remember, this is where Frank Bowles was the first time. This, you know, we saw the Riddler, and we scanned the portrait over here. So this is actually the exact same area. Uh, now we're going to be going a slightly different way. We obviously can't go back through there since that's been taken over by plants. So we're going to have to use those gates that we opened if I can find where they were. Uh, looks like here they are. And let's go. Alright, so hook up with relatives before you're transferred out of here. Um, I guess we should probably check this out first. This is like Cash's office, so I'm sure it's going to be something interesting here. Maybe we can steal some of his stuff. Alright, anything? Nothing? Really? Wow, that, that was totally worth it. <laughs> Thanks for putting that gate there and making me waste my time with this place. Is there really nothing here? Wow. Huh. Guess that's how it goes sometimes. Okay, so let's get on out of here then. Just look for other places to go. Did anyone catch the game last night? <laughs> Wait, what? Um... Just got to check your prisoner, dear. Whatever. Just be quick. He's not looking too good. No, he's not. We really should feel sorry for him. He never fully got over his parents' death. It left him quite insane. What is going on inside your head, Wayne? <laughs> he's gone. Just a twisted shell of a man. He's all yours, Joker. Oh, goody! Come on, Mr. J, we're ready! I've waited a long time for this dance. Let's start the party with a bang. <laughs> the... Wait, 
Use the middle stick to dodge Joker's gunfire. Wait a minute. Hmm. Um. Okay, well, let's just retry, I guess. Oh, well, we came back from the dead. Oh, man, my suit! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hey, look. It's me! Hmm. Should probably be more careful. You could really fall out the back of that. Yeah, so this is definitely the most uh, developed of our little fantasy trips yet. <laughs> the game crashed on us and started over and everything. Hey, hey, don't don't eat that, man. Stop. Don't ah. Well, okay. Well, I guess we can just ignore our rat eating self <laughs> and go across. All right, yet another Scarecrow section. Let's hope this one goes a little bit better than last time. Wasn't too bad, but could have went a little cleaner. What are you trying to do? Oops. All right, looks like it's going to make more skeletons for us to fight. Pretty much going to follow the same pattern that it has the last two times. So. See, at this point, I like to just do critical strikes and take them all out. Just a lot faster than trying to do those takedowns. Alright, let's just make sure we're safe before we take off here. Yeah, I think we Yeah, we have to go for longer and longer times. And of course, um, Scarface up there is actually talking, um, uh, taking over the warden's place. It's kind of funny that he would be mentioning classic cases of split personality, but. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, make our way around here. Of course, a little uh, <laughs> image of Scarecrow holding Batman hostage there. Alright, this will get us through. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Uh, okay, I should have went there, but I was a little paranoid, I think. Yeah, he moves pretty quick here. So obviously what we're going to have to do is get behind this thing. So just run with it as it goes, just trust it. And there you go. See how far this way he goes. Yep, yeah, it's good of me to wait. Are you scared to come out and face your fears, Batman? Alright, so just make sure to wait. I'm pretty sure no matter really what you do, he can't see you down here. So just have to wait for him to pass by and grapple up. What are you, Batman? Chicken. All right, and as you can see, we're it looks like we're nearing the end here. There's the light, so let's make our way through. Wait here. Okay, could have made it, but I think you need a little more. Um, so I guess that wasn't the M. Looks like we got some more. Oh, holy crap. Are you enjoying the extra dose, little bit? Not particularly. Oh, I this time. I'm going to see Yeah, 
critical strikes work so well against these guys. Oh, does he have a sword? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, beat up all your friends. Ah, looks like I've turned on one of the lights. Oh man, big skeleton. Yeah, these guys are gonna act just like the uh, big titan guys. The problem is, as you can see, this arena is very small. Uh, but thankfully, I think they're pretty weak. Yeah, as soon as they run into the wall, they die, so... And it turns on light number two. So one more round, we should have it. How much Alright, so let's see if we can get this thing to charge. There we go. Batarang move. More strikes. Oh, didn't get him. Combo ended, it looks like. We took out the big guy, so that's the more important thing. Is that it? Yep, looks like it. How are you doing this? You've ingested enough toxins to drive dead men insane. What are you? Why fight it, Batman? You're as crazy as the rest of us. You need us as much as we need you. And to prove it, I'll flood the catacombs with enough fear gas to break the minds of everyone in Gotham for a hundred years. That's probably not a good idea. I don't think you should do that. Alright, so I guess we made it out, and it looks like our objective is just right up there. So... All right, uh, definitely a pretty cool Scarecrow vision there. Looks like he's starting to get a little bit frustrated with us and our ability to just break out of his grasp so easily. So, um, I don't know, hopefully we can take him down soon. His plan now is to uh, release his fear gas toxins or whatever into the sewer system or the water system or whatever it is and uh, spread it up to everyone in Gotham. That obviously would not be good. So, all right, I think we're actually going to stop right here, though. Um, next time, it looks like we're pretty much right at the door to Croc's Lair, so we're going to head in there next time, see if we can find um, the spores for the antidote and also take care of Scarecrow if he's there. So, till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.